everyone, we're going to test out the Liquitex Acrylic Ink Special Muted Collection today. <laughs> It's AJ from Zathpaw Creative. Welcome to another episode. We're going to be testing out these Liquitex Professional Acrylic Inks. They're all in each a muted shade, which is muted green, muted turquoise, muted violet, muted gray, and muted pink, and they're absolutely wonderful. So let's go ahead and get started. Each of these comes in a one ounce bottle, and I bought these on Amazon for about $28. This is the muted pink which actually is kind of, uh, whenever it dries, it's more of like a mauveish color. It was really light in the beginning, and so as you'll see later on, I go back over it and kind of test out to make sure that I'm, you know, putting enough pigment on, and it, it seems to actually dry very, very much lighter, but obviously it's more muted. So this is the muted green, and this is a gorgeous shade of green. It is sort of like a, a Christmas green, and it's absolutely fantastic. All of these shades, I want to note, are, are much more cooler than, than what they appear to be whenever they first go on. They go on wet, kind of bright, and of course, once they dry, they're a little bit darker and a little bit more muted, as you'll see in the final product. This is muted turquoise. This is my favorite color, absolutely favorite color. I'm a huge fan of turquoise to begin with, so that's really no surprise that it should be my favorite, but it's, it's much brighter than the other colors. Uh, it is still muted once it dries though, and so it's it's a lot more stronger as you'll see in the time-lapse art later on. And isn't that just a gorgeous shade? I just, I love the the way it has this sort of gradient that reminds me of a nighttime sky. And they are water soluble, however, since they are acrylic, once they're dry, they are permanent which is fantastic if you want to do some layering. Here's the muted gray, which actually is not so much gray as it is a mm, muted purple. <laughs> it's a bit gray, but it's also like you can see right here, it's, it goes on brighter, but it, when it dries, it's still, it, it appears to be more gray, but it's still got this purple shade to it. And I actually accidentally contaminated some of the water there with the turquoise, but you can still see the pigment is is not straight gray, like, like a slate gray. So finally, here is the muted violet. Violet's one of my favorite shades, probably along with the muted turquoise. This is my favorite shade of all five of them. It tends to dry a little bit more on the purple side of violet. So let's just put it that way. It is a gorgeous shade as all of them are and they're amazing. And so I went back over the pink just to make sure that I was putting enough pigment on. And this is, this is a great uh, piece that works with portrait work later on, as you'll see. Just a quick note, this is done on Strathmore Mixed Media Paper 140 and in a moment you'll see it on Fluid Hot Press 140.
Welcome back. Here's when the colors are still just a little bit wet versus whenever they're dry. So as you can see, uh, they're more muted, more subdued, and still beautiful. And now for some time-lapse art. I loved how the color laid down and how quickly it dried. That's the advantage of the ink and that you can layer it once it is dry because like I said before, it's permanent. And so for those of you who are expecting watercolor like effects, yes, they can do that because they are water soluble, but they dry very, very quickly. I also use my white gel pen to add, some, add in some accents and I used some interference watercolor for those of you who are curious about this end result. So whenever I found out that the pink was actually very light, I wanted to use it to my advantage in this, this second piece and work with it in her hair. And I just found that this was a lovely medium to work with. I just, I really love doing the ink paintings. Uh, you know, I couldn't decide on the, the lip color there. <laughs> but these are fabulous inks. I love them. And you can see what you can do with them. They're extremely versatile. Uh, they're cost efficient. And what I love about Liquitex is the fact that with these muted inks, they also created a, uh, a set of muted soft body and muted heavy body paints as well. And all of the Liquitex products you can use in, in conjunction with each other. So if you're a mixed media artist, you can use all of those, those different collections all in one piece and you'll have all these colors that work together within each other. So this is a fantastic uh, gift idea. I'm not a sponsor. I just love art supplies and I love trying them out. And I am a fan of color. So this is definitely going to be added to my collection as a staple for my future art. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Go ahead and share this with your friends. Keep creating. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I'll talk to you guys later. Be safe and be creative.